everyone, welcome to these Gabby's dolls and toys. I have something new in here, a, a new doll that I'm, I think I'm going to start collecting, but I'll find out for sure once I open this with you guys. So yeah, I'm really excited. This is another doll um, that is made in Spain and I, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to share this with you guys. <music> Welcome back, you guys. This is, oh my goodness, so exciting. I wasn't expecting this doll to be here so soon. Um, and I, I got some packages today. Uh, and, you know, I picked them up from the post office. And I, I knew what two of them were, but I just couldn't figure out what this was. But then I, when I read the label, I said, oh my God, it's already here. So... I'm really, really excited. Um, you know, this was shipped from overseas, you know, another country. So, I just didn't expect it to be here this quick. But, oh my goodness. There's, wow. So much stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, it came with all this filling, which I don't know if it was necessary. Well, I guess it was necessary to protect the doll. So, the, uh, but it's messed up the box, which I didn't like. So, this new line of doll is called, they're called the Biggers. And they remind me of the Blythe dolls. I, I hope I'm saying that right. And I always wanted one of those, but they're very, very expensive. So this is the box, and she looks amazing. The box is really pretty, you guys. This is nice. Um, it says the biggers always with you on the side. Um, it's a pretty box, but this got me messed up with all of the fillers that they added. Um, and there is a thing on the back here that says the legend. Of the biggers um, the biggers are small beings with human form that live amongst us from ancient times in each period they have been called different names goblins trolls or gremlins they are known by their unmistakable eyes in other times it was said that the biggers were the ones who accompanied children who had been lost making them laugh and helping them to return home um, they are very difficult to see nobody has ever captured one um, Wow, only children can see them. Humans lose the ability to see them as they become adults. Wow, this is like kind of creepy, to be honest. <laughs> but, but, um, if you want to stop the camera and read that, you can. But I think that they're really, really cute dolls. And um, hopefully you guys are going to think so too. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited. Um, so they sent me a little thank you card. It says gracias and thank you. Mucho gracias for tu pedido. Um, so I'm believing that's thank you for your purchase. Thank you very much for your purchase. Oh my goodness. I'm so upset about the filler that they use because it's messing up the pretty box. But, um... I'm excited. She looks so cute, you guys. Yay. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, she's so pretty. Let's put your hat on you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and they smell nice. They smell nice. Like the, um, they, 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 they smell like the Mia's a little bit. Yes. Okay. Look at the big eyes. That is what I love. They remind me of the Blythe dolls, um, um, which are, uh, I believe, BJD's ball jointed dolls. Uh, this is not. Um, same articulation, it looks like, as the Mia dolls, about the same size. 
She is so cute. I believe that her name is Chrissy Collins. That's her name. Chrissy Collins. I'm sorry. I'm going to let you guys see her, but I'm just really excited. This is the first time um, getting one of these dolls. And she is so adorable. Absolutely adorable. Oh, and I love the box that she comes in. This is really nice. I'm definitely keeping the box. Okay. So, it looks like she comes with paperwork, which... I love the way they package these dolls from Spain. They they make the packaging at night. Like, the way they package them, it's like you could... You could keep them out for a while and put them right back in the way they were, and it wouldn't it, it wouldn't mess anything up, you know. And I like that because sometimes doll collectors do like to display them in their boxes. So first, let's see what she comes with. Um, the same thing, the Biggers, the Legend of the Biggers. So this is cute. So these are some of the other dolls in the series. And I already have my eye on this one right here. I'm thinking of getting her. And I can tell you I'm probably going to. So this is the same thing. Um, the legend of the beggars. You can stop that. Pause it and read that if you want. So cute. I'm going to take the time and actually like read the whole thing. But it's a lot. And um, for the sake of the video being too long, I'm going to, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to get to the doll. Um, oh, it's so nice. So there's tissue paper back there. Presentation to me is everything. And um, so far, they get an A for presentation, just like the Mia dolls. Um, it looks like, who makes these are made by um, O'Neill. The um, well, they're made in O'Neill. I don't know. So the company name is Berwan. B E R J U A N. So I don't know. I know that they're made in O'Neill. And I've been finding that they make a lot of dolls in O'Neill in Spain. Um, but yes, the name of this company is Berwan. And the name of the doll line is called The Biggers. I am so excited. She's beautiful, okay? Um, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm really excited. Like My anxiety is like through the roof right now because I wasn't expecting to get her today and it's so exciting when you're not expecting to get a doll and you get a doll and and she's not the only thing I got in the mail today so okay so you guys it's gonna be hard for you to see this but there's little plastic hooks inside and in um then they have little rubber bands that hook onto the doll and then on the other side the hook onto the hook so it's so easy to get her out of here without destroying the integrity of the box, of the packaging. Um, and I like that. And they, they did seem very similar thing with the Mia dolls. Awesome. Gosh, I'll show you what I mean. See, the, the rubber band was hooked there and then hooked onto the doll. So if I wanted to put her back in there nicely the way she came, I could, but I'm probably not going to because I'm probably going to display her like I display my Mia dolls. So, um, yeah, the eyes are, wow, the eyes are a little spooky, guys, I'm not going to lie, but she is beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. I love everything about this doll. She's got big teeth. <laughs> Big, big eyes, beautiful blonde hair, and it's wavy and curly, and ah, uh, she is amazing. I love the hat. One of you guys um, in the comments had said one time about the Mia dolls, how cute they were, you know, but they're even cuter when you put hats on them, and I think it's like that for a lot of doll lines, for most dolls. 
So, but we are going to take the hat off so we can see her hair. Look at that. And look at how long the hair is. It goes down to the feet. If I let this out, I bet you it would go all the way down to her feet. She is shedding a little bit, but that's okay. Um, when you have, I mean, she looks, oh yeah, she's really, really well rooted. Oh my goodness, look at this. She's so well rooted. Awesome, lots of hair. She's so cute. She's got the cute little face, and she has freckles. Oh my goodness, I love her. I love her so much. I love her outfit. So her name is, um, like I said, Chrissy Collins. And she's from Dublin, Ireland, it says on the tag. But um, we know that she is made in, it looks like she's made in O'Neill, which is in Spain. Um, yeah, I love her. I love her. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, so the head, you know, you've got the head turns and moves which is awesome for posing she has articulation at the arm articulation it's nice it's 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 loose it's not you know it's easy to um to move it's it's not rigid sometimes dolls are very rigid and some people like it prefer it that way but i don't i like to be able to easily um pose them so yeah it looks like the head the shoulders and the hips that's where we have movement. Um, the oh my goodness, quality, quality, you guys. The 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 quality of the clothing is awesome. I paid right around sixty dollars for her, and then of course I had to pay for shipping and stuff. But um, so worth it to me. I think so. They're a little more expensive than the Mia dolls, from what I'm seeing, and it's cute. They have. Like, they have one that looks like is inspired by Mary Monroe. They have one that's inspired by Michael Jackson. Um, you can find these in different skin tones. So, as always, I'm here not necessarily to influence you to buy these dolls, but I'm here to show you dolls. I'm here to show you the dolls that I collect or the dolls that I find. And then you can watch my videos and then you can decide. Because you may see stuff online and say oh you know it looks like a cute doll but until you actually see them in a video you you know you could easily change your mind either way you could you could not like a doll and then see the video and decide that you you do like the doll and vice versa so i'm not here to sway you i'm just here to tell you my opinion show you what i got and yeah and um and if you're on the fence, you know what I mean? You can decide either way what you want to do. So this is just a new doll line um, that was brought to my attention. And it looks like they're going to be selling them at Jolie and James, um, which is where I get most of my Mia dolls from. So, yeah. Chrissy. Oh, she's cute. I like her. She's definitely going to get a friend. I'm going to get more. Absolutely, I am. Um... So I collect, you guys know, I collect soft sculpture dolls. I collect a lot of different dolls. And um, I think for the quality, um, the artistic design, everything, um, these dolls that I've been finding lately, these and the Mias, are definitely worth the money. I That's my personal opinion. Um, from, you know, the quality of the clothing, the, the rooting of the hair, the design of the doll, which is very cute. The packaging. I mean, everything. For $60, I think that you're getting a really, really good deal. Um, but I also understand that these dolls are probably in the choir taste. So, yeah. But if you like, like, the Blythe dolls, I personally can't afford to get into collecting them right now because they're very expensive. I mean, some of them go for four or $500. Um and I, that's just not in my budget. So for me, this is like, you, you, I'm kind of getting the same kind of doll, but it's more within my price range. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments for me. Um, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, about Chrissy, the biggers. <laughs> I think she's really, really cute. I, I like her a lot.
I love her. Oh my goodness. The eyelashes are rooted. Oh my goodness. Yes, they are. But they stay very, very close. They're, they're like laying on um, her face. But they are rooted. Wow. I just noticed that. And the eyebrows look so real. It's kind of realistic. I love the eyes. The, eye, the eyes is was the creepy part about it, but that's what I think I love the most. Um, and the hair. The hair is just absolutely beautiful. But, um, <laughs> it's so creepy. They're just very realistic, but I love her. And I'm definitely going to get some more. Yeah, definitely. Maybe even put them on my Mia shelf. It kind of the same kind of doll. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment because I always want to hear from you guys and see what you guys think of the videos. And yeah, um, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos from me. And I will see you next time. Bye.